Howdy! We just dropped some new merch for the summer! We got two tie-dye t-shirts with embroidered art as well as a sticker of both designs. You can get them right now at pleasestopshopping.com for $25. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Please Stop Talking. You know how everybody, as you grow older, you have different eras? Yeah. I had my hard drug era, and then I had my uh, stoner era, and now I'm in, I'm in my fishing and gardening era. I was wondering what your eras were. I feel like Corbin didn't change, though. I feel like he's still in his Disney era and his, his <laughs> yeah. like Paw Patrol sippy cup era. Yeah, you know, I've had a very stunted development. That's like that uh, Netflix show. That's <laughs> crazy. No, you're thinking of uh, Prisoner's... Uh, development a terrible start to <laughs> such a so terrible bad. start yeah never mind I'm, I'm taking it back yeah i tried to segue that was awful <laughs> I, I, wish have, I i tried my goddamn something. hardest i dude i don't know I, I i don't think i even had the energy right there the energy was off yeah was it a soundboard brendan i've been using a soundboard for the last five <laughs> minutes just to see if <laughs> have you really <laughs> what have is you really wrong with you <laughs> Oh my I, god. I, I it's so tiring to, to be around you. Did say clap? Just, I, I gave you. <laughs> did you not even say clap? You I, fucking I, used I, sound I, did, I did. I did. I did it earlier. I did it earlier. I was like, okay, it's got to be like, they got to figure it out right away. Like right into the recording, they got to figure out that I'm using a soundboard. <laughs> but you didn't. I mean, no. why would we guess that? You didn't even say anything. All you did was like, okay. Yeah. yeah. Half, half the stuff you say will sound like a soundboard. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. His burb. Uh, yeah. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! I'm so tired of you! What the f It's like I'm literally cursing oh. you. I fucking I the worst part the worst part is that you do it so fucking often. When we're recording pain hole, you do the same thing. <laughs> the worst part is I'm too fucking stupid to do anything about it because I don't realize. Brendan, there's no reason why we would doubt that you are a fucking cause every time we start recording, everybody's silent. Why would we why would we think it's a voice? I was I was actually really hoping so like I could get into like full recording with just that. But I was like, you know what? No, no, no. There's no way. No, the second anyone asks something too specific, like it's all over. Yeah. yeah. That wasn't the soundboard that time. That was me. <laughs> I can tell. To, like we have to use that uh, audio because I want I want to know how if the audience uh, picks up on that it's a soundboard. <laughs> I oh, really want to know. So now they're going to hear, hear my awesome fucking, what is your era? What's your treasure? <laughs> hey, what it's literally the fucking bit from Auntie Donna. Just what's your treasure? My treasure is my family. <laughs> Fucking oh hell. Oh, welcome to the podcast. I fucking hate this show. <sighs> yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> God, I, I wish did you, was did you wait, did you actually sync with <laughs> yeah, the, the audio it's the clap fine. sync is synced. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's fine. Did you clap at the same time or did you just go clap? Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. That was me that time. <laughs> I don't know. That was that was my bad. I accidentally clicked on something that was very loud. Oh, <laughs> It, it was like playing educational fucking volume, incredibly high volume. Educational volume. I, I went, what's that article? And I clicked on it because I didn't know why it was in the mail. And it just went, this is an educational resource, like in super loud. Oh, that's awesome. I can talk about my fucking nightmares. Like your actual nightmares or like it's just oh. the nightmare two weeks I've had. Oh, yeah. <laughs> two, three weeks. I yeah. Mean, you've, you've had a busy time. I don't, are you sure that's a fun story? Uh, there's part of the first story that is funny to me, but I don't know how funny it actually is. Oh, dude, uh -oh. You know, you know how you know how he always says that, and then he'll say like, "Dude, it's like when this we reminds were, you of Harry's funny story." Yeah. Rem oh my god. <laughs> Reminds me of that last time we recorded Megan, and then he was like, "Oh, did you, did you know somebody killed himself?" And everybody was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Brendan will literally right. just say like, "I have a funny story." And, and then just talk about somebody who killed himself. Oh, gosh, I just haven't been a regular PST in so long. There's been there has been so much movie talk. I've been out of the fucking yeah. country since then. Jesus. Yeah, you have. Eh? No, that's a story. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What do you mean you can't? He's got to save it for the podcast. It's, no, it's such a it's such a beaver story. <laughs> have you ever have it's you ever seen a man a... fondling a stingray? That's it. Uh, that's, that's what, what does that mean? What do you fucking to? mean? What do you mean? Have you ever seen a man fundling a sting stingray? Okay, there's. What does that even fucking mean? I I took a vacation out of the country for the first time in maybe. Yeah. Oh my god. Where'd you go again? Uh, I went to the Caribbean. 
Mm. But there's this in the Cayman Islands, there's a few um all over the Caribbean, there's some spots where there are basically docile stingrays you could visit. Oh, oh! We did that in Chicago as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. That that's you were there too. Yeah, we were fondling stingrays too. No, 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 no. This this is like they're in the open water. They're wild stingrays. They're not like in a in Chicago, they're in like that little uh the yeah, little yeah, tank. Like a stingray tank. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're in the little tank, and then all the kids touch them and go, ah. Yeah. Yeah, this is in the uh, the open ocean. Yeah. There's like a kind of underwater sandbar in a few areas, and you'll go there because like a hundred years ago, there would be fishermen who would dump out the parts of like fish they didn't want into these areas and stingrays would come up. Oh. And then it got to the point where they were hearing the sounds of motors coming and then stingrays just come up to the boats. So they started hand feeding them. They jump in the water. And now the stingrays are like, they're like big dogs. That's sick. That is so fucking strange. Yeah. So you go in the water and like stingrays just come up to you. You can like pet them move around and stuff. It's like a dolphin encounter, but a little less aggressive. So what happened was, I, I do have fake pictures of this, but I'm not sure how appropriate those are to share. They'll have um some people you could go out like on your own to the area. And it's yeah. fine. Others will have like these guided um tour groups where like they'll have 40, 50 people on a boat and they'll come out to the area like, okay, let's all hold hands. Like we're, we'll have one of our trainers to grab a stingray and like put it on your face and you kiss it for the luck and we'll sell you the pictures for like 80 bucks. You, you, ki- you kiss the stingray? Yeah, you kiss the stingray for uh, the luck. Like on, on their, their mouth? mouth? No, no, no. Their, their mouth is like kind of on the, like way in the bottom of their body. Is it, yeah. yeah. Isn't it the body? They, they have yeah. like a weird fucked up, like they, they look got like a cute the, little smile. Yeah. They, no, I don't know about cute, but no, when they, they make look like you, the thing from no. No, when they make you kiss the stingray, they like, they cut, they push it up onto you, and it's basically its nose. It's like right at like the front bottom of it. So you're you are not getting anywhere near the mouth. They're just like, look, kiss the stingray, get the good luck. It's just to get they they yeah. want to sell you the picture for eighty bucks or whatever. Yeah, it's like it's like when they make you rub the balls of the bull. Yeah, it's just like Red Dragon with yeah. the tiger. So um, I was getting back in the boat, one of the boats. I was like, that was that was an all right outing, but there had been a storm in the area, so it was more like a wave pool. So it was actually really fucking chaotic, which is shocking. But um, I was looking out and I saw one of the trainers and he was having a, a certified the deep moment with a stingray. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I, he was like, lift, he was like holding it in his arms in the water. I was like, oh, OK, that's like, oh, yeah, like there's a stingray. He's like having a time with it. And then he was like, he pulled its face up. I was like, oh, maybe he's like practicing like the kiss thing with it to make sure it's not freaking out. But then like he started like nuzzling his face against it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh my oh, god no. oh my god it, oh my god it's like the guy who fucked dolphins <laughs> remember do you guys remember that guy who would fuck dolphins what what guy and he married a dolphin no, i know about the john mcafee lady have you guys never heard about the guy who was super into dolphins at a like at some fucking no, it was uh, a conservatory and then he was like oh i love this dolphin i love this dolphin so much i'll <laughs> fuck it didn't they make a movie about that? Did I, they? I thought there was like this lady. Oh who yeah, it was called dolphins. Free Willy. I thought she no. had, like <laughs> jack off the dolphins for some reason, like for her career. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. I no, heard about that. I did. One. I did not remember the man who married a dolphin. I swear there was a man who married a dolphin. Wait, wait. You say man who married a dolphin, and all I can think about is John McAfee, the creator of McAfee Antivirus, constantly talking about wanting to fuck a whale. I swear there was a guy who. Malcolm Brainer God, is a Matthews self-confessed a zoophile villain. who claims he had an affair with a dolphin called Dolly after she seduced him. <laughs> you know, he is... It, okay, now 68. Malcolm was still a student when he embarked on a relationship with the... Balanana. He is still in a... He says that he's still in a relationship with a dolphin. I knew it. I knew it. He's not married to... He's not married because th- who the fuck would let him? But yeah, yes. it was like that. Sort it didn't go quite that far, but people on my boat also started taking their cameras out because they're like, "What the fuck are we seeing?" <laughs> no, there's another one. There's another one that fuck fucking married a dolphin. Yeah, how, how are there multiple dolphin Avril marriages? Thompson. Why is everybody marrying dolphins? Why am I not included in those? Oh wow, it's like, do you have a dorsal fin oh, or a blowhole, one. David? Do you have a dorsal fin or a blowhole? There's hole? another one. How am I finding so fucking many of these? <laughs> oh, I didn't know about You're the finding dolphin, so marriages. Many dolphin marriages. No, why, David. Why there's is that a- Thing. There's this woman I can't remember her name. Is that it was for some science experiment? Yeah, and they were like training the dolphins. Yeah, she's like they perform much better when I when I beat their yes. meat. That, that and was so like every day. About. Yeah, she what? would go and do that to the dolphins. And he's like, she's like, they like it. It's like, yeah, yeah they fucking like it. It's weird. So it loosens them up for the experiment. 
she was she was allegedly doing it to get the dolphins chilled out for research. That was the story I knew about. That that These marriages that, I did that not. It, this is fucked up. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't believe we're uncovering so many dolphin marriages here on the police. Oh, sorry. The the ple- the porpoise stop talking porpoise. podcast. Porpoise sex thing. The porpoise sex things here on PST. <laughs> yeah. This is an awful episode. For dolphins? <laughs> Where are the they're... fucking... Yeah, here's my pictures. The fucking dolphins. Oh, you took pictures of the dude? So, well, you could see other people have their cameras up because they're like, what the fuck is happening? Oh, he's like... He's like oh, he's like... <laughs> <yeah>. Oh. <laughs> he's like on there. He's, he's yeah, just... He, it, he started like wrapping it around him and then like when the... Stingray started going up and down. I was like, okay, this is. I, oh, I no, put, no, no. I couldn't no, do it. No, it was no. getting way too weird. I was like, I've never seen this before. Dude, the worst part, there, there's a lot of people looking at this man. Yeah, this because, man, like, what the he fuck? He does is not happening? give a fuck. I say, I don't <laughs> think he cares. I, I yeah, I he can't does believe not that you got to head. see a live recording of one of the new scenes from the next season of The Boys. Like, you see the other lady with her camera out because people are like, what is this? Like, what I are, thought, what I are thought are you witnessing? caught this man. In my head, I, I was like, "Oh, you caught a dude just like no being, being a mode. tad weird, being a tad weird." <laughs> to be fair, he is on, on the side, side where there was nobody. But he is no, on the side of like, the boat farther away from the center. What are you talking about? There's like another boat right there, full of people. That boat has like four people. There's boats with like thirty <laughs> on the other I mean, side. I'm gonna be honest. If I was if I was doing, uh, fuck, <laughs> I, w- I would also fucking weird. Not ch- I would I hide. See. I like agree. if I if I if I had to do this stuff, I, I don't I don't. But like if I had to, I would not do it in the middle of like two boats. <laughs> what no. are you gonna do? Bring a privacy curtain out into the ocean? And to be fair, like other people on the boat were already in there. But I mean, no. But you don't need to have people there. But just what if borrow, the stingray was choking fucking... on like a fish bone or something, and that man instinctively knew he had to He's rub that stingray's the high... belly? Oh, is that there's, there's no. There's no way. <laughs> Immediately, he was That's like, "I am a veterinarian for animals in the water. I have no, to he, get." He in was there doing. He's like, "Oh my god, that is, oh, no, that is not what." <laughs> All right, stingray foot job was not on my list for 2023, <laughs> but it is now. I, I've had to learn to take pictures when I see things now because it's like <laughs> you have to have evidence of it. Yes. What's the only have 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 no, here it like, is. Listen, this happened. This happened. Uh, this happened. Here are the pictures of it. The, you know the 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 thing is. At first, when you would tell me, like, oh, this fucked up crazy thing happened to me, like, let's say five years ago when we met, I would have been like, the fuck are you talking about? Nowadays, you tell <laughs> the thing is, because of Chicago, I know it's real. <laughs> I just know it's real. Mandy could tell me literally anything, and I would probably implicitly trust him. Like, if Mandy told me to get and hide in my bathroom for three days, I probably would. He probably knows just better no than context. I do. Yeah, no context. I get a Discord message, 3 a.m., Brendan, into the shower yeah. right now. You need to be there for two and a half hours. No longer, no earlier. I would go, okay, immediately. <laughs> Hey, how many times have you wanted to watch something from one of your favorite streaming services only to realize they took it off their service but only in your country? It's beyond frustrating. For me, that's when it's time to go to old reliable ExpressVPN to save my movie night. I recently used ExpressVPN to watch the incredible Canadian coming of age werewolf movie Ginger Snaps. That's right, Canadian movie not available on streaming services in Canada. Makes a lot of sense, eh? So that's when I went on the ExpressVPN app, I clicked on that big old button, connected to a US location, and in no time, I could watch one of the bleakest depictions of puberty I have ever seen. In addition to that, ExpressVPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet, so you can be protected from malicious people online. Not only does ExpressVPN work on all my devices like my phone, computer, and smart TV, with VPN servers in 94 different countries, and a 4.7 rating on Trustpilot and the Apple iStore, I think it's fair to say that ExpressVPN is worth checking out and even giving it a try. And hey, you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN free at expressvpn.com slash psdpod. That's expressvpn.com slash psdpod, expressvpn.com slash psdpod. So, I live in Quebec, which is primarily a French-speaking Canadian province. When I got married to my husband, who's from the US, it was hard for him to adjust here because of the language barrier. Learning a new language can be a struggle, so I'm very glad for this episode's sponsor, Babbel. 
Babbel is a language learning app that's sold more than 10 million subscriptions, and it's a super easy and fun way of learning thanks to its bite-sized language lessons. What's great about Babbel is that lessons are built around real life. You learn how to have practical conversations about travel, relationships, business, and it's super useful for my husband now that he lives here. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including but not limited to Spanish, French, Italian, and German. There's a bunch of ways to learn and sharpen your knowledge with Babbel. In addition to the lessons and courses, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of three. Just go to Babbel.com and use promo code PSDPOD. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com, code PSDPOD. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. I did think our fates were aligned because you were like, oh, I got called to jury duty. Yeah. I was like, whoa, I got called to jury duty. Me too. Well, recalled, I guess, since I delayed mine. But uh, you had your get out of jail free card. I did. That's a story that I have because I'm fucking amazing. You got to. I thought you did jury duty because that's why you canceled yesterday. So, so yes, but no. Let me, let me explain. Oh, uh, I got called in to jury duty, meaning that I had to go through the selection process. When they yeah. do the selection process, they randomly select people based on voter records, license registration, a bunch of other things. They call in okay. about 100 people, and then about 50 of those 100 people usually end up showing up. So 57 people go in, and then out of those 57, the computer randomly then draws 20-something, and then that gets cut down during the selection process to pick 6 gotcha. to 12 jurors for a jury. Um, I went in, and I was terrified because like my wife wasn't with me and she's my rock in situations like this and I can't bring my wife to jury duty selection so I was like I have to be an adult I have to go in there and I got to figure out how to get out of this I <laughs> I I I was like I don't like being in courts and that was going to be my poll is I don't like being in courtrooms I don't like being in courts I was in enough of them as a kid I don't like yeah. being there uh, so I go mm -hmm. in, we have to watch this 20 minute video, a dude sits next to me. And I know this dude too. Like they randomly picked somebody that I knew and it's because he's the manager at a vape store I go to. Oh my God. <laughs> so he, he's like, Hey man, weird seeing you here. I'm like, yeah, man. All right, cool. Uh, all right. So we sit there, we watch this movie and then we, we go up and during the questionnaire, I put in, uh, drug charges under have any of, have you or any of your family members or somebody close to you been charged with something? And they call me into the courtroom by myself to like informally ask me about this. And I'm like, I was never charged with drugs. My like parents were, it's just, it just makes me uncomfortable. And the judge is like, all right, all right. Okay. Okay. Sends me back out. I come back in. There's 57 people, 26 people get called up. I'm one of the 26. So like my ass is on the line. Like they are probably yeah. going to pick me. They're going through like the questions. Uh, the There is the prosecutor, the defending lawyer and the defendant, which I didn't know was a thing in a lot of criminal cases is the defendant could be there for jury selection. Mm -hmm. And I didn't learn anything unusual. about the case at all because, like, they don't tell you anything about the case until you get further in and into yeah, the actual Yeah, you, you have to actually get selected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, yeah. I, I didn't know anything about the case. I will say that the 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 defending lawyer looked like an Urukai from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Like, and to explain this what? is he was like a 75 year old man with bulging bulbous eyes and like he he kind of looked like either an urukai orc or rango from the from like just a lizard oh, man. from rango like, like the little, little lizard guy he was yeah no one, no one should remember rango i swear to god i was genuinely afraid oh. that he was going to start flicking his tongue out into the air to acquire smells yeah. See if you're lying. Yeah, I'm like, like, like you need to be dismissed. Um, I'm I'm called up there asking questions. They're asking, "Hey, do you know anybody on these on the witness list? Do you know anybody that we're talking about? Do you know the uh, defendant?" Okay, cool. No, 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 no. Part of me was like, "Is that somebody that my dad knew?" Because I had a feeling, and it was like, "No, no, no, no way." Uh, to get to the question, are any of you uncomfortable with law enforcement? And I raised my hand, and uh, then they're like, "Oh, okay." Uh, they let this other woman go because she just raised her hand. They were like, oh, okay, we don't need you. And I'm like, oh, because the defendant is like a 25 to 30 year old white guy. They're looking, they're like, they're not going to let me go right away. So they bring me back and it's me, the judge, the defending, uh, the defendant, the defendant's lawyer and the prosecutor all in a room together. And I have to explain that, hey, 
I, because I was a kid in the courts, I just don't like being here and it makes me very uncomfortable. And they're like, well, do you think you could be impartial in like a jury? And I'm, I, I'm like, no, I <laughs> like, no, I don't like being in it here at all. Like this is, this is just goofed up to me. Like I can't trust myself to do that. And they're like, okay, we'll figure it out. They bring another guy back who wants we'll to raise figure his it hand. out. Uh, they come back out and they're like, Mr. Uh, Hurlbert, you're free to go. And I was like, bruh, I'm out. I was going to say I'm amazed they didn't like push you out sooner unless they'd already gone through some people at that point. I didn't know that they had a whole selection. I don't know why everybody I know has been to jury duty except me. I have been lucky. I, have I mean, not. they might do it a little bit differently in Canada. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I mean, even in my friends, like I, ha I got a bunch of friends who were like, oh, I did jury duty. It's like I've never even been fucking close to here they, duty. It's like Brennan said here. They assume a lot of people won't show up and they'll start just eliminating mm -hmm. from there. I'm kidding. What if uh, you were on the new hit show Jury Duty? <laughs> that would have been insane if I had a chance to be on TV, a freebie original even. I was just happy that my like traumatic childhood came in clutch for once. Like <laughs> genuinely my clutch. trauma, my trauma and my feelings about this stuff was like, oh sweet, I get to get out of jury duty because I got my ass beat. <laughs> I, I would have fucking I, I feel like they I, I would have been honest, just like I fucking hate cops. I was I literally said that to the judges, <laughs> like I do not trust members of law enforcement, and I do not trust criminals, so I do not think I would be good for anybody in this situation. I I would I'm not I'm I'm more like Depending on the case, I would probably be like against the cops. <laughs> if it was like a civil case, oh, like, you're talking you about picked, juror annulment, yeah, yeah, nullification. That's, that's, they love that. That was the other thing too. Is if like that didn't work, I was going to talk about jury nullification. What is that? Where you vote null, where you vote no, uh, not guilty no matter what. Basically, oh. jury nullification basically means that I believe that even if the law says they're guilty, if I think the law is stupid or disagree, I'm going to say not guilty anyways. Oh, I would have probably. If it if it because it seemed like it was a drug charge. If it's for a drug charge, fuck off. <laughs> well, fuck it depends. Like here, they're more it wise. Depends up to though. It. Last time I was called in, the judge like he gave a little speech that basically amounted to if you just try to say jury nullification at the first chance, it won't work. So I guess people had like read online about that. Yeah, that you can just nobody say that. wants to be you there. Can't just say that. Do, do they even pay you to go to jury they, duty? They pay Probably you. Not. So they pay you the for state. your mileage, and then they also pay you in Iowa at least. They pay you for your mileage, and then they give you thirty dollars a day. Thirty dollars. Oh, thirty a whole day? dollars a day. That is insane. Yeah, I was like, that I, is that, not a if, lot of money. If, if they still wanted me after that, like me disliking this, I was going to go into jury nullification or I was going to talk about, uh, hey, I'm self-employed. Like, I understand that everybody has to do their civic duty and I totally get that. But you are like literally stealing money from my pocket because I can't have somebody else do this in my place. Yeah. Yeah. Here you get paid $12 on day one and then oh. for every day after you get $20. If the, trial la if the trial lasts more than five days, then you'll be paid $30 for each day after it. That is actually Plus nuts mileage. Me. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm guessing it's not better. It, it's no better in fucking Canada. I'm get like, they can't fucking afford to pay people full. Well, it's like, it can really fuck some people up, over. Yeah. Like they'll it need can. to get dismissed. Like, Hey, you know, I can't, I can't miss a week of work and get 12 bucks. 12 to 20 bucks a day yeah. in replacement. Like, that's not going to fly. That's fucking nuts. Yeah, like, the, the the big thing is, is, like, they they had, I think, about 12 old people who had been in juries before, and all of them were like, oh, yeah, we'll do it again. Yeah. Have something to do. Oh, dude, yeah. If oh, because they were 100%. Old, that'd yeah. be fun. That'd be fun? <laughs> I get to condemn someone. Oh, yes. I mean, Ooh. I guess you don't I, have anything else to do. Like, fuck it. Well, you know? it depends I would on the stand case. in the jury and give them the thumbs down for death. Like, feed them to the lions. <laughs> If it was jury duty for like a civil case, I think I would have just gone through with it because it yeah. would have been like yeah. a day probably. And then it would just been somebody like suing somebody. It yeah. is just because you don't know, like it might be, oh, I'm going to see, I'm going to learn about some horrible, horrible shit today. Or it can be, I, the machine took my dollar and I want $4,000 from Coke. And like I sent some from small Wait, claims. What? I <laughs> thought small, small claims has jury. I don't know. It's, actually. it's civil cases like or Civil, the, I, the whole video presentation I watched on this, 20 freaking minutes, oh I absorbed God. too much of it. Civil cases, uh, usually they won't have a jury for small claims courts. It's more like large scale civil cases. Not yeah. like huge ones, but like you, anything above small claims You can request a jury. Court. Requires a jury. Okay. Yeah. In, a, in a small claims, you can still request a jury. Okay, true. That's really funny.
Listen, that is such a waste of everyone's <laughs> fucking time. <laughs> my mama owes me $50. I'm suing her for 100 and I want a jury. I need a jury. My mother told uh, my mother sold my SpongeBob VHS tape television and I want a jury because I want it back. I mean, yeah, the jury might be on your side for that one though. See, see, fair, fair. <laughs> I also, after, after I left, I walked down to my mom's work cause it's like a block away from the courthouse. And like, she just went around showing me off to her coworkers because I've never stopped in there before. Just like That's everybody's awesome. like, Oh look, this is my oldest. This is my oldest. Come here. Come here. Check him out. Look how tall he is. I think I talked about it before, but last time I did that at my mom's work, like, cause she works administration at a big, big, big grocery chain. At that day, she was working administration inside of one of the grocery stores, and she just like paraded me around because that's just what mothers do when you visit them at their work. Like, this is my son. I just remember there was a fan of fucking PSD that worked at one of the grocery stores, and I felt like death. Oh, oh, that was another thing. I think oh, I, I talked, forgot. I think I talked about that a while back. Like they just said, like. Oh! And I was like, oh, what? Hi, <laughs> in, man. In the jury duty, as I was leaving, there was a kid. He was uh, probably like 19, 20. And he looked at ooh, me as I was God. leaving and he winked and waved and gave me the head nod. And I was terrified. Are you kidding? I he was winked? terrified. Oh. He winked, waved, and the head nod, which is the telltale. Oh, God, you know who I am. Oh, uh, unless that could have been the congrats you got out of jury duty. It could have been. It could have been either one. It could have been either one. Oh, that's wow. If you're watching the PST podcast and you were in jury duty with me, uh, props to you, dude. Pretty freaking epic. I liked your plain black Pretty shirt. Pretty freaking epic. You're going to get 17 people Stop. saying, I was that man. I was. Wait, you were. You're, wait. Oh, he was in the jury. He was in. Duty. He wasn't selected, but he was oh. in the deselected people in the back of the courtroom. Oh, it, it, it must have. No, it must have been like, congrats on not being Getting picked selected. or something. Yeah, Maybe. it had to be. Maybe it was. I don't know, because there was that Domino's delivery driver who knew who I was. And now I can't accept any delivery drivers. Now I can't accept any delivery. Oh, really? Yeah. When did that happen? Oh, that happened like two months ago. Is uh, I don't know if I... I didn't talk about this in the podcast, did I? You, you didn't talk about this. No. I generally don't. Think. Oh, jeez. Oh, I know you told me. I know I told Col Corbin, but if I didn't tell David, then I didn't tell it on the podcast. Shelby and I ordered Domino's pizza. And like, props to the dude. He seemed pretty chill. Uh, I go out to get it and I pick it up and he stops for a second. He looks at his receipt. He looks at me. He looks at oh, his receipt. Oh, wait. He no, you have, you have talked. No, no, <laughs> you have like, talked about it. Are you Brent Daniel? And I was like, oh, no, God. No, yeah. You have talking about that. <laughs> I literally said, please don't tell people where I live. I, <laughs> I mean, I like that he looked the at the receipt and then back to you. I swear if he had liquid in his mouth, there would have been a spit take. <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you <laughs> boy? Holy crap. He's, it's Brent Daniel Reed. Uh, God, don't even say that, dude. My, did you know that my wife has an ongoing joke about that specific phrase? Does she? Yeah. I didn't, I did not know that. She, uh, we went to Nebraska in like 2013, 2014, way back. Did somebody say it? And, and no, I was with my wife and my friend Shauna and her boyfriend at the time, Chad. And Shauna is such a, uh, she has such vile energy sometimes. She, <sighs> vile, vile energy. energy. She was like, I'm just going to walk around and then point at you and yell, oh my God, is that Brent Daniel Reed's? So oh, we would walk, we walked around Nebraska and she's just pointing <laughs> and screaming with my wife in tandem. Oh my God, is that Brent Daniel Reeds? And the only person who recognized me because this is from so long ago was this incredibly awkward chick who walked up with this dead soulless stare and she said, I really like that fan fiction you read about Sonic. And then she laughed exactly like this. <laughs> immediately <laughs> I mean, start to finish beginning to end uh, like and I, I just like a sound like your soundboard it was like oh, her like mouth opened up her lips didn't move and then her mouth closed rapidly after that's so cool that's an incredible meet it was it was really powerful also at that con i saw 30 guys dressed up as misty and they smelled real rank uh, yeah. and i also oh, met the voice yeah. actor for seta kaiba but he was really mad that people were getting like People wanted him to sign like Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. He wanted to sell his uh, his like singles album there. His, oh, he's his, a singer. His, yeah, his I, singles. he had like some album that he was trying to sell, and that he was also the most expensive autograph person there. Oh, um, so he was wait. So he's at an anime con, but upset that people were. He, he was like not for there. For he was, like a, little, he was yeah. like a little upset that people were asking for Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, but right. also trying to pimp his like solo album. God, this is, this is so long ago. It came all flooding back. I also remember somebody walking around in a panda fur suit that gurgled. Oh, stop! 
Stop. We're done here. <laughs> we're, we're moving on. We're moving on. I went to the DMV recently. I uh, oh man, yeah, dude. I we're 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 all in on fucking governmental <laughs> excitement on this episode of the podcast, dude. Okay, so the DMV has been closed in Quebec for like two months, maybe more. I don't know. I, I I don't know the details of what's going on, but basically, like shit's fucked. My little regist. I I had to go get my little registration card because they never sent it to me by mail. Cause it was, I, I sent the money while it, while they closed off every service. So I had to go in person, uh, dude, it took like three hours. There were so fucking many people. Thing is, I when feel like it person, was like all the freaks. When you went in person, yes. did the uh, attendant look at you and said, of course you'd want it sent by mail. Thank you. I'll be here all week. I, I'm so confused. What do you mean? M-A-L-E. I made a joke. I, it's not. <laughs> I, no, I know you did. I know you did. It's just no. <laughs> but he got it. What the? <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Right. Dude, you fucking, you fucked me up so bad. I was like on, I was just, I, I, I remembered every detail. I dropped a perfectly. fucking psychic flashbang on you. I'm sorry. I, I was, I, I'm, you told that to me and I was just starting to like, I, I was just like Sherlock Holmes, like brain palace trying to figure out what the fuck you were it's telling because me. because you said sent by mail previously. So I wanted something locked and loaded. Anyways, <laughs> there was a there was a fucking dude in front of me that was like talking super fucking loud on his phone. I fucking hate that shit. Whenever you go to like one of these government uh, type things, there's always one motherfucker on his phone just talking extremely loudly. And usually a Bluetooth thing too, from what I've seen. That that dude wasn't in a blue a Bluetooth. He just had like his he had a flip phone. And he looked like a hipster. He gave me the vibe of somebody who really wants you to know how cool he is for like be having a flip phone in the year 2023 and a big like long coat. And he was carrying a clarinet. I was like, dude, this is squid. This dude is Squidward. <laughs> Turn to Squidward. He, <laughs> I, dude, he he was like he had Squidward vibes, and he he just had this. Aura of like I am better than all of you because I play the clarinet. Who brings their and clarinet I was, to I the don't, DMV? I don't Did he want his know. license picture taken with it? Oh my god! Imagine I don't know. <laughs> imagine being the poor always employee. Had it on me. <laughs> Excuse me, I'd like to take a picture with my clarinet so the officers know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck his his deal was, but he just started. He he was like he the, he got in front of me and then he just took out his phone and called somebody i was there for like three hours right like two three hours that dude was on his phone for the entirety of that and all he would talk about he he just called up his friend and was like so i have this new theory about clarinets i i could not fucking believe <laughs> what do you it. mean i i new could theory. i know i could not <laughs> believe it i was like word. this dude was literally squid where i could not believe it he, the entire time he was just like when i hold the clarinet on a right angle, I think it sounds better than when I hold it on the left angle. I think it gives it more character and texture I, the entire time. Like, he would not shut the fuck up about the way he orients his clarinet when he plays. And then he started talking about spit, like the spit accumulation for another, like, solid hour. <laughs> it was fucking weird, dude. I think it would be wonderful if we not- could invent a device that would clear the spit for you. Uh, just simply and he easily. Was- an auto clarinet I think would be quite excellent. <laughs> oh my god. He was so loud. Oh, I, I, I deal with that so much at work because I work in a lobby now. Yeah. And people will have speakerphone conversations they will in have the middle the most of the lobby. Asinine conversations. So what I've started doing is I control the music and I just turn it up unbearably loud. To where oh, they cannot dude. reasonably have a conversation in the lobby until they leave. <laughs> I wish I could it's do clever. that. I don't know. I was like, at, at at first, I was like, this is fucking funny. This dude's just like Squidward, but real. But after hour, after the first hour of him talking about his clarinet. Dude, who the fuck was he talking to? Who the fuck <laughs> was on the phone His band teacher, David. He was 16. I don't know. He was not 16. He was like maybe 30. They're making kids look old now, though. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, one day got crazy. <laughs> Either way, after like the first hour, I was losing my goddamn mind. I thought I like after the first hour, I thought I was starting hallucinating because there was a man like right in front of me. He 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 just had like his backpack. He took it off. 
Then he started like rustling through it, like trying to find something. And then he just had like a baby bottle, right? He just took out a baby bottle with like some, I, I mean, I'm assuming it's milk because it was white. warm, white, viscous fluid in a baby like, bottle. Tepid, oh. tepid milk. fucking milk. Tepid, hopefully milk. And then he just started sucking on it and just like drinking from the uh, baby bottle. Like, I, uh, I hate the DMV journey. I hate the DMV journey. It's always like this. It's always <laughs> like but this. Listen, it he is. got really, he, that dude just got really fucking high and got confused. He thought he was going to EDM, not DMV. He was so old. Oh. He was like an old man too. Like fucking, he had like completely oh, that might have been white actual, hair. Like, milk then. Over under, he was wearing a diaper. Dude, he might have been wearing a diet. I don't know. Uh, depends. What do you mean depends? Yeah, Corbin got <laughs> it. Corbin got it. That was yeah. a joke exclusively <laughs> for Corbin. <laughs> no, I, I get it. Okay. David I don't didn't get, get it. it. That's David wouldn't know that. Hell? David wouldn't know that brand. I don't think. Depends is a brand of oh, diapers. So is a, I was oh, replying okay. to Corbin. Depends. I'm really on a bad Man. joke roll. I did get really, really high like ten <laughs> minutes ago. So you got uh, really, what? really high before recording. No, no, no. Ten minutes ago, mid recording, on- right after I was telling a story, <laughs> I grabbed my Delta Eight gas station yaya and I hit it really, really hard. And then I was like, "This oh. is a fucking mistake." Oh, I had, gas I had station like. That's not near me. What, are oh, you well. are you guys all gonna fucking go on the <laughs> I, yaya? What the I hell? Know. Dump up on the yaya Yay? for PST. <laughs> gonna yayo yayo. Just like one piece. I'm gonna get uh, I'm, I'm gonna get one piece inside of me. This is this is eighty milligrams. That might be the one piece is real. <laughs> Either way, the worst part about all that, I spent like three hours there. I come back home, I look in my mail and they sent me another one. I finally got it the same day. I fucking wasted oh, so three you hours. Did get it sent oh, by mail. Sucks. Yeah, they sent it by mail. So now I have two Was he registrations hot? for my vague. Shut the fuck <laughs> up! <laughs> I'm so tired of you. You need to have a backup one now. I, two magazines on backup. <laughs> two magazines on backup. What the fuck am I going to do with registration two? Two magazines on backup. You have like one under your seat or you put it next to your spare tire in case the first one goes out. I should actually fucking keep one of my register. I always lose my registration for my vehicle. I hope a law enforcement. How? Uh, How? Just keep it like your glove box. <laughs> I, I always, I don't know. I put things in my glove box. Yeah. Like gloves? No, like everything else that I own because I don't like having things in my pocket when I drive. Cut a hole in the ceiling of your car and then reset it back into the ceiling of your car. So when a cop pulls you over and asks for license and registration, you pull out a big Bowie knife, stick it in the ceiling, cut it out and say, there you are, <laughs> copper. <laughs> are people ne- are people like not bothered by having shit in their fucking when they drive? But you have. Well, some cars have like the um, that storage oh, thing between yeah. the seats too in the front. I'll put my phone in my cup holder. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, no, drive. I don't know. I put everything in the glove compartment. It, well, Brendan, I don't think you understand. It's about drive. It's about power. It, we stay girthy, oh. we devour. Zoa 30% off for the next few hours. Buy the rock new Under Armour underpants immediately. <laughs> it's, it's Dwayne time, David. We What's can't control fuck? it. We can't help it. It's a part of who we are. No, Black I Adam fucking, can just leave. I have we issues with Adam. Dwayne the Rock We need Skyscraper. We don't need Black weird Adam. Vibes. You don't like the star of Doom, he the movie? Gives me oh, the, Jungle I, Cruise? That was when he was still... Uh, <laughs> that, that was when there was something that could happen there. Recently, his movies have been fucking dog shit. Well, because his contracts have all these weird stipulations in them about how hardcore he has to be. It's like, I have to punch the other guy more. I have to do this. I have to always win. I have to always be the good guy. What a fucking weirdo dude this is why john cena well, will turn out to be the best wrestler turned actor the rock will make more money than well no dave ta- batista sorry dave batista? Dave batista. yeah what? yeah but dave batista was not that great of a wrestler so i don't think about him as a wrestler i think of him as an actor first uh, That's i did not think I, dave I, batista was a wrestler i i think of dave was, batista, yeah, yeah batista start. he actually so dave batista's wrestling career is really funny uh just for the beginning is he was one of the Dudley boys uh, bodyguards and he would always have a briefcase chained to him when he started out in wrestling and eventually they just gave him his own character. The funniest thing about Batista is during a Royal Rumble him and John Cena got thrown out of the ring at the exact same time as the last two entrants accidentally. So then Vince McMahon had to come out. He came to the ring walking his big grapefruit sized nuts like walk slid into the <laughs> ring and when he slid into the ring he tore both of his quads simultaneously and had to oh. sit 
down oh. in the middle of this gigantic pay-per-view, this arena filled with people, and yell at referees from the floor of the ring because he tore both his quads at the exact oh same time. God. Jesus. That's how I know I'm high. I immediately jumped into wrestling facts. Holy. I, well, I we, was we gonna opened say, the door. I was going to say, I, I was like, no fucking way that I, I thought this episode would be safe. <laughs> David, like, if, I, if I'm you, on. I didn't even tell any of my Jamaica stories. Whole, I we could get real unsafe real fast. <laughs> what do you mean unsafe? I don't know. You have to do it. <laughs> what happened in Jamaica? Bodies in the sand. <laughs> well, there's there's two parts of Jamaica. There's there's tourist Jamaica and there's real Jamaica. Tourist Jamaica is usually you'll go to like a resort. Yeah. Or like a cruise compound. And you'll notice that there's usually a fenced off area or some kind of wall or gate. And usually people with guns on the uh, edges of it. Oh, shit. Okay. Because real, the real part of Jamaica is more like, it's more dangerous, just more crime ridden. But a lot of violence. Kind of. It's more just like tourists can get scammed a lot. That one of my friends who oh, had a. That's uh, okay. That's why we need guns in well, case somebody gets scammed. It's, it's a rough. There could be rough areas. One of my friends, okay. like if you get a uh, like a taxi driver to tour the country, you could get like a really good driver who will show you stuff and like kind of fend off the anyone who might give you trouble and be like, oh, here you go. One of my friends had um, when was this? This might have been a few years ago, but he got a uh, a taxi in Jamaica to visit the countryside, and they sort of like agreed on the the deal before like they took off from the place. Yeah, and then like he got in. And then they start getting to the, like the first, it was probably like the falls or something. They got to the first location and then the taxi driver starts negotiating for more money. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't want to pay for that. And then he looks to the side and that's when he realizes that the car has no door handles. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Jesus yeah, it's, Christ. <laughs> it's, I see. I see what you mean by this might be scary. It, it just depends. Like, like anywhere else. I mean, like, I had a great time in Chicago, even though <laughs> there was a shooting right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> even though there's a shooting right yeah, behind me, and they... we had to stay inside for the large shooting I mean, on the 4th of July. When you're not... Oh, yeah, that's right. I mean, when you're not home, when you're, like, far from home and something mildly sketchy happens, it's always like, oh, bruh, that's not nice. Yeah. That's a bad vibe. I mean, Jamaican markets are, like, most island culture, they'll kind of have um, <clears throat> they'll have like haggling. Where yeah. It's like, oh, you know, buy this, buy this. Like, I'll oh, give this for that. It's like you'll have, what was it in the Middle East? Um, some places can be kind of aggressive. Jamaicans can be very like, the the market culture there is very like, you want to buy this, you want to buy this. And so I was kind of in the more Epcoty, Epcot Jamaica, like the compound area. <laughs> Epcot. <laughs> I just call it Epcot Jamaica because no, it's, I, I get it's it. like old, it's like old people around from like a cruise ship or a boat. Oh, gotcha. Just like a plane. And so it's just like, it's Jamaican stuff at very, very toned down. So you can buy like your rum cake. I bought some, uh, I bought some like Jamaican rum to bring back. Cause you could bring like a certain amount if it's under duty stuff. Yeah. But I was getting a little taste of it in the markets. Cause someone would be like, Oh, you like, you want to buy some beads? Like I don't pressure you at all. It's like, I'm just looking at stuff. Like, let me show you this boss man, like, just putting beads in my hand. Like, these are the codes of Jamaica, black for the people, red for the blood, like, green for the... Like, just going through everything. And she's, like, piling up more and more stuff in my hands. <laughs> she's like, don't worry, I'm not pressuring you. just want you to look at this. <laughs> I think so much stuff piled on. Uh, that reminds me when I was a kid. We we went to a French-Canadian, uh, mo like, majority French-Canadian area in Cuba. And everybody, everybody would be, like pointing at me as like i was a little kid and they would point at me and say i'm a tremblay i'm a tremblay i'm your cousin buy something from me it was really fucking aggressive there oh my god just like i'm a tremblay i mean it's the most common it's the most common uh, uh last name so they just assume everybody's a tremblay which is accurate most people are tremblay oh i Canada. didn't know that it's like a yeah no like i have tell. i have the most common name in french canada David Tremblay, like, there are hundreds of people named that. Oh, I had no idea. Thousands, even. Yeah. So I was saying it's like that thing with um with a lot of Indian people here named Patel, mm. which I guess there's some historical thing behind it. Like, there is some region in India where people were able to, like, emigrate out more. And it's just more, a lot of them were Patels, so you have, like, Patels all over the place here. Oh, gotcha. Where did Tremblay got started, though? Oh, incest. <laughs> yeah. 
Is that the French or the Canadian side? Where I guess French, but I could be I, wrong. It's probably French. I don't know. There was a lot we, of incest. There's a when I dude when I was in <laughs> when I was in school in like grade school as a kid. I just remember because there's a specific area. Oh shoot! Why am I blanking out on the area? It's like a rural area in uh, Quebec, and people would. There's a lot of tremblés there, and. And it, it is like the joke is that the reason why is everybody is fucking their sister because it's like redneck French can- Canada. And when I was in grade school, my teacher would be like talking about the history of Quebec and talking about that area in, in, in particular and just pointing at me and going like, yeah, you probably have a lot of cousins, wink, wink over there, huh? <laughs> oh, a lot of sisters, oh. too. And I was like, I'm fucking 12, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Same teacher that called me a f- not wow. a good time. I hated that. That teacher was not nice to me. <laughs> Either way, sorry. Didn't mean to. Didn't mean to fucking take over the. <laughs> I've learned a lot about the the Tremblay lineage. Yeah, we we don't have a crest or anything. We just fuck each other. Oh just a crust. <laughs> I, I just I just blamed for hearing the the Tremblay lineage. <laughs> yeah, it's about yeah. It's built on incest, and I don't know what else. <laughs> please, fi- please tell your story. Don't let it end no, on I'm sorry, that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> please don't let it end on the lineage. Right. Just right. Incest. I, I walked away with a with a stingray, <laughs> wooden stingray, like a desk ornament. I was like, this will this will be fine. And then when I was buying rum, there was a guy who went, "Hey, I can make a good sale for you." And I, he was really, he had probably seen me sampling some of the rum before I bought it because he had his eye on me. Like, oh, like, what, what are you selling? So I figured he might be trying to sell weed or something. And he goes, ah, oh, a bombs. Oh, a <laughs> bombs. I was like, a bombs. I have, I haven't heard this one before. <laughs> And he goes, I can't do it here. Like we have to go outside the outside the gate. Oh, uh, like, oh. oh Mandy, <laughs> what did you do? Well, I took a. I looked over to where the gate was. She so had kind of like nodded towards it. I looked over there, and there aren't any like guards at this gate. Yeah, they just had like a. It was like an electronic one. They might have been posted inside or something. But I saw it looked like an um. It looked like an oblivion where there's like a group of bandits. Like when they're just like, <laughs> just like, and like, their, clo- there and like their cloaks. I just look by the tree line and it's like, it's pretty hot out. It must have been 85, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. <laughs> you see some dudes out there, like three or four of them. And they're just like in this dark brotherhood little posse. And they're just kind of looking. I can't, they're far enough away. I can't see their faces or them very well, but they're kind of facing towards where he and I are talking and they're just kind of milling about. I can see they're all faced in my direction. Oh my god! And I was kind of like, "This feels weird," but I didn't think to be like, "Uh, no." And all that my brain could conjure up with was going, "What are a bombs again?" <laughs> <laughs> and he got really close. And he just went heroin with something extra. I don't know. Oh, a whirlwind with something no, extra. Hero- heroin. Heroin. Oh, heroin. 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 <laughs> heroin. <laughs> heroin. <laughs> I heard whirlwind. I was like, whirlwind. What, what, is, what are you? What is, is it going to blow in your? Are face? they going to take you to the water park? Extra? I don't know. With I didn't, something extra? I didn't think to ask. I don't. Oh. I don't know what about me came off the vibe I was into buying heroin, but I had to sort of self evaluate after that. <laughs> a bomb is a marijuana joint with heroin or opium. Opium. Oh, okay. Oh. Now we know. How did you... F- you Google Urban Dictionary A-bomb? Goes on Reddit. Uh, or- JeffCoso.org. Who's Jeff Coso? I don't know. <laughs> Apparently, isn't he's into fucking hard drugs. Oh, that's uh, Jefferson County Sheriff's Department. Oh, no, you're on Jeff- the list. <laughs> I mean, who knows? It might have been a local term. could have been something entirely different. Well, there was that heroin. Sounds, that sounds feasible. You did what if they heroin. gave you heroin and Skittles? Oh. To just a fucking pack <laughs> just of Skittles just or something. Pound just bag like, of, we just have so many of these. Thank you so much. You can, you can, we, you don't have to use the heroin. We just really want to get rid of the Skittles. Just a bag of plantains. Just like, please take this off our hands. Also, here's a little heroin just to sweeten yeah. the deal. 
Dude, they've got a fucking 37 long page of just drug term definitions. Oh, what's the g- give us give us a few bangers. Pages? Acid a- head, user of LSD in parentheses acid freak. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they have my World of Warcraft build in the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department <laughs> drug database? <laughs> I'm the acid freak. This is fuck. B bombs are just methamphetamine. Yeah, well, they're named after B-bombs me. Bombs so are thanks. just meth. Yeah. Oh, Brendan bombs. I'm guessing you did the heroin, right? Me? Yeah. I, oh man, I, I injected yeah. it right in the middle of Epcot. <laughs> right in the middle of Epcot. <laughs> oh, the Epcot no. The future, the city of the future. <laughs> no, I just said, I, I just said, I'm good. But I was clearly looking at the group of people who were loitering outside the gate really strangely. And looking scary. Yeah. And he just went, ha ha, you good businessman. And then he kind of wandered off and started talking to a different tourist who was there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. Do you just look like, ah, you see them. And I'm like, what are you, How did- <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, dude. Your good business. What does that mean? Were they gonna mug know. you or some shit? He oh, was, he might have also been on something. He m- must have been on a bombs or something. Yeah, <laughs> he might have been. I mean, you gotta try out the product. Everyone else there was really nice, though. I mean, he was nice. He he like yeah. he told you you were a good businessman. To be fair, they might have just they might have unfurled their robes and had the a bombs waiting for me for a transaction. <laughs> unfurled their robes and they're just like normal dudes. Yeah, I mean, I did not expect to be attacked. I thought more like, oh, this is going to be some sort of weird scam. Drug dealers are people, too. They don't have to always be mean. Like, people are way, no. t- way too mean to drug dealers, you know? What do you mean? Listen, mean if them? I go to a drug dealer's house and they don't have a guy playing Two Worlds 2 on an incredibly loud Xbox oh, 360, I don't trust shut shut up. <laughs> Why Two Worlds? T- what is your <laughs> that's, fucking uh, thing? Sorry, that's what is so your deal with Xbox If I go to a drug dealer's house, if I go to a drug dealer's house and they're not playing Bound by Flame on PS4, shut, <laughs> shut up. Your fucking mouth. Why do you always talk about fucking obscure, like, 360-era <laughs> fantasy games? What is that? Is, I hate that one specifically because I knew a guy who dealt weed in high school, and he would play Two Worlds 2 on his Xbox oh, 360. Of course. And he'd, be, that, he'd say things like, it's like the next Oblivion. He would, oh, like, really that's funny, wow, too. Where, where did you read that one, buddy? Two Worlds 1 on the back of its case says, like Oblivion on steroids. Yes! Yeah. Oblivion on, that's the one. Oblivion on steroids. Cool. Come play Kingdom of Amular Reckoning. Oh, Kingdom of Am- Amular? Rhode Island's greatest cultural export. Oh, didn't he, didn't didn't Rhode Island fucking lose a shit ton of money off of that? Yes, but it got a remaster <laughs> recently, so maybe they got some money back. There's no Or maybe they way. lost more. There's no fucking way they got money back from that. <laughs> Do you think Kingdom that Rhode Island Amalur. gets any tourism from people who are literally looking for the Pawtucket Pact facility? Like they're looking for the Family Guy landmarks in Rhode Island real. Do you think they do Family Guy tours in Rhode Island? They're from Laura. You know so. what? I, starting that. I, that sounds like something that would happen. Is Quahog? Is Quahog? 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 Sorry, what is Co-hog? it again? Quahog. Is Quahog a real city? Yeah. I do not believe so. Isn't it? Is it like Springfield where it's like a not real place, is, but it's like... There, there must be a real Quahog. A uh, fictional city. There's not a real Quahog. Really? Uh, yeah, fictional city. Wow. I guess you can't really do a tour for something that doesn't exist. I mean, come on. You they know there would lie. be a bidding war for the Family Guy house on Spooner Street. The thing is, that's actually there what I thought might Street. happen. Like they'd make a, like a tourist trap. A fake. Like oh, a little, you mean like yeah. Oh, like like when they what when they made a fake Hogwarts. Or exactly. Some like shit. Here, here's yeah, the yeah, little yeah. Quahog. Like come to the real drunken clam and buy your buy your thing. Oh, uh, dude, there has to be a fucking drunken. There is clam. a drunken clam in Japan. In Japan. Oh, in Japan. Uh, shout out to Hey, it's Rue who watches the podcast. Uh, they told me about it. Uh, oh, I know. Oh. Yeah, there is a there is a drunken clam in Osaka that uses the Family Guy font. I'm posting it one second. What? Wow. That's fucking sick. That's on the list. I got, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, there's the drunken clam in Osaka, Japan. <laughs> Looking for an exciting and unique way to spend your night? This Come looks to the much drunken classier clam. than the, the real yeah, this I think it's not. Just a, so I think it's a, just a karaoke bar with a couple of family guy themed things. <gasps> they, wait, wait, wait. They got the giggity giggity special. <laughs> they literally have the giggity giggity special. Yeah, there, there's Tidemeyer. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's so cool. It's only a thousand that. yen. Too. Ah, gee, they don't have any pot to get pat. Ah, this place. Sucks. Oh my! Oh, they they have a bunch of Family Guy stuff on the walls. 
They have Gay Baby. I just saw Gay Baby. Oh, they gay baby. the TVs all show reruns. Brian, they show I'm reruns. Going to do a <laughs> Brian. That's so sad. I take back it being class because I just saw the uh, bar with the chairs. I'm like, oh, that looks nice. And now I'm seeing more of it, and it's just it, it looks sad. Of family guy paraphernalia. Oh, they are hiring two female bartenders though. <laughs> two Megs, as we call them in the business. <laughs> oh, <God>. Megs. <laughs> You're the new Looking Meg. for mega Meg likes. I'm the Meg of the podcast, so it's fine. I, <laughs> who's the Brian Griffin of the podcast? Mandy. I don't want to be Brian. Oh my god. I don't want. I don't want to hold my martini and smug about. Oh god, who was this fucking hero in the show? Bill was it? Uh, Bill Mayer. Bill Maher. Yeah. Oh god. It, was it really <laughs> yes. Bill, Bill Maher? That's Brian's hero. I Shut remember. Shut up. That. It might have changed no. but when I saw it. He loved. He loved Bill. Of all the people. Are you shitting? No, that che- that checks out completely for Brian. I haven't seen Family Guy in years. Sometimes I hear it. two two nights ago. It was it was Boo's birthday, and he was having a he was having a me time night, right? Like where he was doing his own thing, and he was watching. He was drunk as fuck watching American Dad, and I could hear him just like. <laughs> Oh just God. like the loudest scream laugh. Oh, Roger, you crazy alien. What hijinks will you get up to tomorrow? <laughs> it was fucking wild. <laughs> he was scream laughing so hard. I think often uh, when I think about Family Guy, I think about the Bones crossover episode where David Boreanaz's character had a tumor in his brain and he went to a sperm clinic and Stewie Griffin was on the TV talking about his oh. cum which is a real episode of Bones, and Stewie Griffin was talking to him because it was revealed his character had a brain tumor. Yeah. Right. That's, that, that's, that's, yeah. Oh, right. The dangerous. I didn't talk about the you know what I, burnt oh, out sorry. carnival cruise ship. Before, before we move away from like TV, I just learned that there was an episode of X-Files where there, there was a KKK gray alien, and yep. that fucked me oh, up. Oh, dude, that yeah. episode is really that's, good. That's a, that episode yeah. is really, really, that really fucked good. Me up. I just saw it like... I was talking to Jello and Jello out of zero context, just fucking sh- like is like, dude, look at this. Just shows me like a, a thing where like KKK members are racist. And I was like, oh, that's why are you showing me this? And at the end, the KKK member with a shotgun gets unmasked and he's a gray alien on the floor. And I started fucking. Do you know what's so wild hard. about that episode specifically? The unnatural what? is that alien is pretending to be a black person actually who is doing baseball in the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, specific leagues in like the twenties and thirties that, uh, av- like black people had to be in because the MLB in the U S was super racist. But then there's the alien why bounty hunter gr- who wants to get him. He was in the segregated league, uh, because an alien bounty hunter was trying to get him. Uh, and yeah, that's so he why was he was hiding out. as the KKK after that. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? That, that is, is, going uh, that is on one of the X- higher tier X-Files episodes. You know what's episodes. even more wild? There's a worse episode of the X-Files where there is a black vampire who is sucking the melanin out of people. Oh, I like, don't remember that like one. Like Blackula. Wait, no, not like Blackula. He does not. He just sucks blood. I don't remember that one. That, that one like was one? really. That was uh, Teliko. Oh, okay. He sucks the melanin? He sucks. Yeah. He, basically, he, do, like, he kills them and makes them white. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. No, that is shit. not what I. That is not what I thought you meant by that. So wait. Okay. <laughs> what did you think? He's a, is he was? a white? Is he a white? No, he's vamp- a black no, no, no. vampire who sucks like the skin color out of people. Out of black people. Yes. Yes. A lot of X Files episodes were. Let's think of a little freak who will eat freaky things. Like, what if this guy ate cancer? There's an episode of the X Files where a monster. It's completely shot in black and white. It's a very, very good episode. They're chasing oh, a monster, and the great. monster is obsessed with Cher, and it's not an actual monster. So they take the monster to a Cher concert at the end of the movie. At the end of the episode, that episode's fucking great. That episode and the episode where they have the three-way phone call and Skinner, Mulder, and Scully are all in a bubble bath, all in the same bubble bath with the same rotary phone eating the same fruit, but it's like a three-way split screen. (laughs) I could do, for pondering, I could do Goofy X-Files Night. I could pick like three episodes or two episodes for pondering. That would be really fucking fun. I I got to like season two of X-Files and I don't know what happened. Something like, I just kind of stopped because other things in life. The hump is the post-movie stuff. Like the weird but, shit happens after the movie, because what I what I after the movie is when I, I had to stop after um the 
so the main cast sort of vanishes and they try to bring in new David, people. David Duchovny vanishes and oh, they replace gosh. him with the Terminator from Terminator 2. Oh, yeah. I remember yep. you told me. That is Dude, season is six or seven, Mulder disappears and then he's very he's back at the end of, I think, season like nine. He's in the finale of that because he had like, he had weird negotiations with Fox and he was just like, fine then. Try to do X Files. And that without didn't me. work, I'm guessing. <laughs> you I'm cannot guessing do X Files without David Duchovny. Of that was proven. Not. You cannot. Even though Scully was in some episodes. They- was he. Uh- was he in the reboot? Uh, yeah, he, him and Jillian Anderson okay. were the leads in the reboot, which the reboot is really. Okay. The reboot has very good, goofy episodes, very bad narrative episodes. Mm. The narrative was always fucking horrible anyways hit or miss hit or miss it really depended on if they were trying to push the the aspect of the narrative where it was a conspiracy and aliens weren't real or aliens were real i always loved and it when they see did them aliens change their minds so often they flip honestly it. that's the thing that that's the thing that bothered me about x files is every time i watched it scully was that the uh, Jillian uh, Anderson's character character in scully, she yeah. she forgets yeah, what she scully. saw it pisses me it. off. It really pisses me off because sh- the most insane fucking shit would happen. Clearly aliens, clearly like whatever supernatural garbage. Next episode, she was like, Muller, shut possible. the fuck up, you dumb fuck. You're I such a stupid head. Gets, it's like, I think when on. she gets forced to be pregnant by the alien slash government, that's when she oh, starts God. to believe more. But also, she's still trying to that's keep a critical, rational mind. And yeah. also, that's when they start bringing in Scully has Christian moments episodes. That's right. I forgot about those. I Did you know that uh, Brad Dorf too. actually is in one of those Scully Christian episodes as the villain-ish of that episode? I, d- I did. Played Chuck I, that sounds right. I did. I love Brad Dorf. I love Brad Dorf in Alien Resurrection when he calls the queen a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Remember when Ken Bone called pregnant women? beautiful human <laughs> submarines <laughs> i want you to stop can we not talk about ken bone <laughs> we were we were having such a good fucking time you <laughs> dick look i have island vacation photos of feral horses and donkeys going through garbage oh yeah I, I, yeah yeah uh, sorry i i i just st- st- welcome to the x-files podcast what? i would love that unironically i love uh, the x-files i've seen it four times all the way through uh okay either way go through sorry, every episode I, of the x-files Mandy, individually you, critique them <laughs> Mandy you were saying something and I, I just steered the conversation back to KKK Graylands oh, I was saying like when I got outside the compound it was sort of like a cross between a, I don't know sort of like a Caribbean island adventure and Fallout 2 specifically but beyond that there was a uh, there was a cruise ship that pulled into port and it was a uh, carnival one and I noticed something very strange about it which was that you, if you ever seen the Carnival cruise ships have like the big uh, red stack on the top yeah. with like the wings that come out, yeah. One of the stacks, like on the one of the wings on it, was gone and completely blackened around it, like it had exploded. Oh my god! And I went, "Huh, that's weird." And I looked at the side of the ship, and it was the Carnival. Oh, I can't remember which one it was, but I looked up like what the what the fuck happened to it, and it turned out that in like a year before this day, just about they had ported in an island or like nearby and the thing had caught fire oh my god and they had just never bothered to fix it completely so just half the top that was completely burnt off and so i'm looking down at it i'm like oh, what the fuck is going on and then i see their lifeboats most um cruise ships or like ships in general that have the lifeboats kind of like hanging either over the ocean or like on a deck where only crew are on yeah so that like they can't so people can't mess with it it's not like a danger but on this one it turned out that i don't know if they're short on money or what but i think they converted one of the crew decks to like another passenger one because there were people like out there chilling like on that deck and i saw oh i do the picture of it they had their lifeboats Hanging over the lounge chairs like the sword of fucking Damocles. Wait, like <laughs> I'll show the picture. Wait, like as parasols? Pe- no, or like something? like people can oh. recline on those chairs with this fucking lifeboat hanging over <laughs> you. Oh my god! It's, it's like, like it's hanging by a thread, dude. What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> and I couldn't believe it because I've seen other ships, but I've never seen lounge chairs oh, set this out looks under fucked. a lifeboat. <laughs> Oh, I guess the carnival ships catch fire kind of frequently, actually. Oh, no. Okay, there it is. It was that one. 
I I still do not have the name. Oh my god! But yeah, that is that is the ship that bursts on fire. You could see the wing is just completely burnt off, and they then celebrate the occasion by not fixing it and then putting lounge chairs near the lifeboats. <laughs> not fixing it. <laughs> that is a fucking that uh, that melted. Holy shit! Yeah, carnival ships are pretty fucking wild. I've seen videos where people get into like fights in them. One had from like Australia had this gang of like forty people going around. Like they're just attacking all the Aussies they could find. What? Yes. I I met a girl who got a lifetime ban from a carnival cruise. How oh my do you get How a does she lifetime do that? ban? That's so hard There's to do. There's so much shit that happens in these boats. Did she like jump off the balcony or something into the water? Uh no. She I think she started fighting people. What um, the fuck <laughs> is with carnival That's cruises carnival. and Carnival's like what? the Waffle House of the Sea. <laughs> 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 the Waffle House of the Sea. It is. Oh my god! It's like strip oblivion loading screen. Like, do you want to test your skills in the arena? Book <laughs> Carnival for a weekend. I, I, she didn't really exactly tell me what happened. She said she blacked out, but she, she <laughs> went, was like, went feral she, on the cruise ship. Fuck. <laughs> she was like, never go on Carnival cruises, and this is like out of nowhere. And uh, I'm like, oh, okay. And I really did not want to hear more. And she goes, yeah, they gave me a lifetime ban. And I was like, what? What did <laughs> That's you do? That's on you. You did that. Why is she fucking weird about it? It's so I, weird. I have no idea. I. You can't get mad at them for you fighting people. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, you get, you get those cheap drink packages and you get blacked out. Man, lifetime ban from Carnival is such a badge. <laughs> Is it a badge? She was she was wearing it like a badge, let me tell you, because we were just on the same elevator. This is not like a... Oh, you don't even know <laughs> this, her. This is not, this is not like thought, a friend I, I have. Knew, yeah, I, I thought you, no. knew, you knew her. They just brought that up? Yeah. No, no. it was like getting to the elevator and then just... Uh, <sighs> don't even. <laughs> don't even think about getting blackout drunk on a carnival cruise. They will ban you if you fight people. Like maybe she just got the news or something and was letting you know. <laughs> Making sure you're in the know to not get blackout drunk on Carnival and fight people. Honestly, news to me. I've always wanted to do a cruise because I there's something about cruises where I know I'll see the most fucked up and weird shit. I want to do the Jericho cruise. I want to do it at least once. Let's, or- do- let's organize the PST cruise. Oh my god, let's organize. Let's go on a Disney cruise ship during no, Marvel week. Not Disney. Yes. Ones. During yes. Marvel week. Let's do the Jericho Marvel cruise. Week, it I'm going to push for the Jericho so- cruise. What the Jericho cruise? Yeah. Jericho's Rock and Wrestling yeah. Ranger at Sea. Chris C? Jericho's Rock and Wrestling what? Ranger at Sea. They have wrestling okay, matches and karaoke sick. and everything. The only reason I, I want to veto Disney is not because of what we'd see, it's because of the price. The Disney oh, cruise is price it? is it is you are paying to see Mickey Mouse. Also, David, if we went on the I don't Jericho know anything cruise, about cruises, if we went on yeah. the Jericho cruise, I think David Arquette goes to almost everyone. Oh my god! So we can I, find I can, David if Arquette. I can, like, re- I, I can I can go get my cop my signed copy of Eight Legged Free or Freers Freers. He can sign every copy of Screen. What else is he? Uh, what else is Dave? What's the most obscure, fucked up thing I could get David Arquette to sign? The WCW Something. Championship yeah. belt. I was gonna say it's wrestling. <laughs> it's wrestling shit. You say that, but like, it, you can't kill David Arquette. Like his death match oh. match was insane. Get like C spot run or something. Like something he would not have thought about in at least ten years. Ravenous, probably ravenous. Wasn't there something? Oh. Wait, Shark Boy and Lava Girl, wasn't he the dad? Get Wait, he's in, is, was he? Yeah, he, he was, was Max's dad. Yeah, he was Max's dad in Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Oh, wow. I Get him to sign this Scooby-Doo movie and tell him you loved him as Fred. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. That's so random. What? No, oh, because they Lillard. have a rivalry. because Matthew Lillard and, and also Freddie Prince Jr. are in that. Oh, I, my I, God. Th- get him to sign Wing Commander the movie, the DVD. Because David Arquette does like uh, wrestling shit, but uh, so does uh, Freddie Prince Jr. Freddie Prince Jr. Didn't wrote Freddie for Pr- WWE yeah, for a while. He, wrote yeah. for- he also yeah, yeah, has yeah. been speculating about he's been trying to get enough startup cash to start his own wrestling federation. The David Arquette, Holy I can shit. beat you up wrestling Dude, league. Fucking oh, that's Freddie Prince PST, Jr. David Arquette. I am down is as just fuck weird. for a PST cruise ship experience, dude. That'd be fucking insane. I think David Arquette was see- on Celebrity Family Feud and brought only wrestlers with him to it. Do they still oh. do 
Do they still do those celebrity cruise ships where it's just a normal cruise ship, but sometimes you'll see Lady Gaga? The they Jericho like Cruise. Themed ones. Oh, I guess the Jericho Cruise, yeah. Who does that? Who? Remember, David, J- so Chris just, Jericho is not cabin, only... You get a few cabins and you just leave. Chris Jericho is not only a wrestler with 30 years of experience. Chris Jericho is also the lead singer of the hit band Fozzie. Ah, fuck, you got like 300 bucks cruise. and book Carnival for a weekend and we have our own Waffle House of the Sea. Oh, so you can survive the arena. I, I would like Carnival. It's it's it just seems like we're gonna see more fucked up shit. It's just Carnival's gonna turn into Lord of the Flies. One half of the ship is going to be mine, the other half of the ship is going to be yours, and we're just going to consult our armies and make them fight. <laughs> we're gonna be playing total Isn't Warhammer. Carnival on the, the cruise one ship? that has a thing with uh wh- who's what's the what's the guy who goes like who, he cooks and he goes bam? Emerald? Emerald, yeah. Doesn't he have a deal with Carnival where all the restaurants are emerald? Yeah, well, Guy Fieri has it too. Like all the burger Guy places on Carnival Fier- are his. I love, I love Guy Fieri. Yeah, ah, but Emerald hasn't bro. done anything in like twenty years, so now he's he like was the an fancy 80 for Carnival thing. Is he like, like nine? Is he like Emerald's pretty old or some? Yeah, he, maybe. Some not of my 90, first but... memories are of fucking Emerald on the TV. Oh, oh my god, that's right. Because I called nine one one when I was like three, and an Emerald showed up, but it wasn't. I'm sorry, I had a memory get <laughs> blasted in my brain. Wait, you, you called 911? <laughs> when and I was a kid. Kyle walked in, looked yes. exactly like Emerald, pointed the yes. gun at you and said, bang! <laughs> oh, <laughs> almost. I called 911, like, to see, because I learned what 911 was. I called it. Yeah. I heard, like, call it 911, and I hung it up. And then it, and then it went, and that rang and picked it up, and, sh- and this lady went, like, oh, this is 911, we got a call from this thing. And I went, bang, and I hung it up again. And I went back to playing with Legos or whatever. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> uh, I did. I did something. I feel like everybody called the cops at yeah. least once. But no, the cops showed no. up. The no, cop. But- uh, the cops never showed up for me. They showed up here, and because oh. my mo- my mom called up, she's like, "Did you call nine one one?" And I went, "Yeah." And I went up, and he did look like Emerald because my mom would watch Emerald, and Bam. so. But he's in his police suit. And he had like, the same voice. He was just Emerald. He went, you know, <laughs> he's like, "Be careful, call nine one one." You know, we we need to be here for real emergencies, and he left. And then my mom said, you, you shouldn't have done that. We're now going to bake cookies to apologize to him. So my mom and I baked you cookies. baked cookies for Emerald? And, yeah, and she did not get his name. So when we went to the police station and went to like the front desk, she had to ask, hey, which of the officers here looks like Emerald? <laughs> <laughs> and the front That's desk lady awesome. like named exactly who it was. And oh she's my like, God. She's like, oh, he's out in his Damn. car. I was like, oh, just give them to him. Give them these. Give them these cookies, and then she she punished me properly. But Emerald, yeah. the officer, got, got his I'm, cookies. I'm just imagining your mom walking away while the cop talks to you. The cop like gets in his car, but before he gets into his car, he turns around and he whispers, just so only you can hear. Bam. <laughs> oh God, my mom might have thought like we should cook for him to try and impress him because he looked like Emerald. Because she watched Emerald so much, like maybe I, maybe I can impress him with my cooking. You think in her it head? Was not I Emerald. can't believe it wasn't Emerald, but it was his twin brother Earl. <laughs> my name is Emerald. <laughs> uh, fucking Emerald. That's fucking not Earl. your karma list. No, it's an ingredients list. Bam. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, I can't wait to go to. Let's go on a carnival cruise to the Emerald store and just yell, "Bam." It's like the yellow brick road. We're going to the Emerald City. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Let's do some Patreon questions before we head out. Sure. If you're part of the five dollars and above uh, on tier, uh, you can ask a question and we'll answer it. Maybe <laughs> we get a lot of questions. Sometimes we can't get through all of them. I'm cleaning cleaning out my bookmarks on Google Chrome, and I don't know why I had. The Wikipedia page for Kangaroo Jack bookmark. That's the Mandy effect. It. No, that's the Mandy effect. I don't know why. Every time I'm with Mandy, I think about Kangaroo Jack. Why? Because it's the first. <laughs> we've talked about it being like a bullshit bait and switch movie. Yeah, but the thing is, we haven't talked only once about it. It's, it feels like every time we're hanging out, <laughs> that's not true. somebody. But it's true. It is true. It. Someone always brings up Kangaroo Jack. This time it was Corbin, though. He just had it bookmarked. What are Patreon questions? I'm a P. <laughs> Corbin <gonna> left. <laughs> oh. Corbin left. He went to go pee. Uh, I could do one. Do you want me to wait until Corbin, Corbin comes back? Pro- we should probably wait. Because yeah. he might have... Yeah, oh. he, uh, yeah, okay. He can hear us. Mm. I, I can't hear the pissing, Corbin. I always forget how close his toilet is to the computer. 
I don't even know what he's saying. I can barely he- just just say the question. He can clearly hear. All right. <laughs> uh, what are some the guy with the hat asks? What are some family friend group in jokes that make you look fucking insane to people outside of it? I'm horny. That, that one absolutely. Uh, I had uh, back in college. I had a friend who would always just randomly turn to me after I asked him a question, and he'd be like, "Ah, something fucked up," and then he'd just say, "Because." And then he'd look at me and he'd widen his eyes and then he'd stand still looking at me for like a full one minute. And that was like a joke <laughs> that we just started doing where it's like, oh, hey, Brendan, did you make those cookies? No, but I've killed 12 people in Texas and they'll never find the bodies. Why would you do that, Brendan? Because. And then it started to evolve to the point where there was a store that opened up down from the college and it just became, it was called Just Because Balloons. And so it'd be me and my friend James, we'd just be driving in the car and we'd just be regurgitating that back together. We'd just be, just because, balloons, just because, balloons. And we'd just be in a car for like (laughs) 20 minutes just saying that on repeat. To be fair, I I have one similar to that that I don't know what the fuck happened. It was during apple picking season around Montreal and it was Ferds and I and we were just sitting on the subway and I just looked at him and I said, knock, knock, who's there? Apple season. And then like for, for some reason, he just looked at me and just did like, oh, hello, hello, apple picking season. It's time. And now like we just went on for like d- just the entire ride, people looking at us and we were both like going knock, knock, ring, ring. Who's there? Apple picking season. Apple picking season who? It's time for apples. Apples. We would just constantly do that and just stare at each other in the eyes. Sounds like the activation phrase from Halloween 3. It's time. (laughs) It's almost time. time. It's almost time. Apple Apple season. Just seven more days. Just seven more days. Oh, it does sound like it. I I hate that both of you are right that I still remember that goddamn song. Yeah. I'm still mad about that. Five more months to Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Five more months to Halloween. Silver Shamrock. I hate that movie. Corbin, your turn. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I have one. I know I can tell you uh, when I was uh, in the restroom and you were asking me questions, I was just screaming like a minion. Those were none of those were real words. You were screaming like a minion. Yeah, like that's banana, why you couldn't understand me. I wasn't saying banana, real words. Banana. I already talked about puka naps uh, last time. Oh shit, puka naps. Dude, my life has been okay. Sorry, uh, I, I, I was just gonna say because because Puka Naps is relevant. My wife has a new one where she requests creature time now, where she'll walk up to me and then she just wants me to pat her head for like five minutes, and she's like, "I want creature time now." Oh, like like a creature comfort. Yeah, like she is a creature and I'm comforting her. Oh, oh. I get Puka. That. Puka's just been like. Part of no, my fucking no more life. Puka. I, puka this, no, I, puka that. Fucked up. I talked to you for three <laughs> hours and you're fucking showing puka me your Puka sa. iceberg it's video puka idea. Tea, puka da, Puka you, Puka oh, me. What the fuck? It's literally been my entire fucking life. For some reason, Can it's always in my David? fucking head. What? Did you watch Puka 2, the Pukaning? No, I didn't. It's just been in my head because I was editing the Megan the Megan uh, pondering and I was looking up like references and putting up the videos for Puka and for some reason they got stuck in my head. But the worst part is out of nowhere, something activated in my life where everybody talks about fucking Blumhouse dark, uh, dark anthology thing in the dark. Into Darkness? Something dark, like that. Dark FNAF, Blumhouse. Everybody Nefton, fucking talks about nights. Puka to me now. Everybody goes up to me <laughs> and is like, oh, dude, have you you seen Puka? And I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> they shouldn't. <laughs> no one should ask if you've seen Puka. That's what I'm saying, but it keeps happening. I don't know why. Through all facets of your life, everything will eventually and inevitably become Puka. Everything is Puka C, Puka that. Puka me, Puka you. I Puka you. Oh, God. That sounds wrong, David. That's how it fucking is. I think the only one that I really do, I will butcher quotes and make them mean like the opposite of what they're supposed to mean. And then like, oh yeah, my grandpa used to always tell me right before he died. And uh, if people don't know me, I still do it. And it, it's always awkward. What, like, like, like what, like what would the like grandpa used to say? Is this like a, a Baker's mile kind of thing? Exactly. Yeah. Right. Right. Oh God. We talked about this with Chicago because Julian had a bunch of them. Like, like, oh, you know, there's that plenty of other gift there. Oh, we, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, there's plenty of other gift horses in the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Because there was a term for that. We've talked about that before. I can't remember now. I don't I don't either. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure I'm sure 20 people in the comments will be like, that's what it means. Well, it all yeah. started because my 
my dad unironically does that. Like he does not understand like common turn of turns of phrase. Your dad we'll is just... Dave Batista <laughs> <And we'll, laughs> from Guardians exactly. of the Galaxy Drax. Exactly. And he just butchers them like super, super hard. And so I found it really funny. So I started doing it on purpose. Uh, Major Beast Jingles, the 60, 665th plus one asks. Major if the P- Beast. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if the PSD crew had their own custom made drink, alcohol or non-alcohol, what would it be called and what would be in it? Water with sauce. I thought David had a cookbook or something that was going to do that. I uh i i mean yeah but i don't have a pst themed anything i i'm still i'm still working on that cookbook but i don't have a the, the, the only real themed drink we've had so far is that horrible fucking malort in chicago but that's not a drink that's not a PSD. no it's drink. not it's just suffering the sriracha vodka would have to make an appearance oh that was yeah v- one, do you still have that i did i did find that bottle of it and i was really upset with it Ooh, i think i told brendan the second it? i found it because i was cleaning stuff out <laughs> And I found that foul, horrible bottle of sriracha vodka. I bought that. I that that's my gift for you. You have to. I think I destroyed to, it. I don't remember. You destroyed it. I. It was so expensive, Mandy. There was not much left by the time it came to my hands. What the fuck do you mean? Who the also, fuck drank it? It also smell. It also is one of those rare things that tastes much worse than it smells, which kind of impressed me. Oh yeah, me. no the the smell the smell is just like normal vodka. You taste it, and it is like. I mean, puke. I could smell the sriracha, but I was like, "How bad will this be?" And it was. It is bad. One of the worst fucking things I've ever had. David, drink idea. Uh, gasseroni and cheese. You freeze Ooh. a small block of mac and cheese and put it in Everclear. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Christ. Oh, hey, if you're listening to the podcast and you drink. decide to That's make like that, chunky. I'm going to give you a thumbs up. A thump up. I'm going to give so you a someone, thump up. Someone I'll send will do you that. one sticker. Oh, God. But you have, no, to, I, you have it's, to film it's, yourself. It's, you wait no okay no, I'll, I'll you, send you, you can no, freeze crap I'll send you, no 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 listen I'll send you I'll send you a shirt but you have to eat it actually no I shouldn't tell you that because that <laughs> yeah, that sounds like yeah. my manager is going to be like you cannot tell people to do that David you, you can't <laughs> tell people to boil gasoline no no not the boil gasoline it just how do you make gasoline and cheese then no, the name of the drink is Gasseroni and Cheese. It's a drink called Gasseroni and Cheese. Ca- it's just a glass of Everclear with a frozen mac and cheese. Wait, block. wait, no, okay, okay, not a it's glass. Like a garnish. It, okay, it's two ounces of Everclear because I don't want people to well, literally like just the, die. I feel like then the mac and cheese. Block then you just put really one. Oh, mac wouldn't and it curdle? You put a single oh, noodle. It, it would curdle. Oh, it would curdle. Oh fuck. Oh god, it would curdle because it's fucking <laughs> dairy. <laughs> No, 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 no. What you really no. need to do is make don't, up, make your own mac and cheese moonshine. Don't do not do shots of Everclear. It's an ingredient. It is not a straight drink. It literally yeah, says no, in the I, bottle. I, I, I have done a shot of Everclear. Do not do it. Do not do it. It is an I, ingredient. You know what? Use I've, Crystal Skull Vodka. Dan I've, done multiple, me, I've done multiple shots of Everclear in a night and it was totally fine. Do, do not listen. <laughs> do not listen to Corbin. <laughs> Corbin, you are not indicative of normal human. You can... Corbin, the only person who can... Out possibly out drink you is my mom, and that's it. I don't know anybody else who can. I was at a party and did like seven shots of Everclear for fun, uh, oh, and then God. after that started reading the bottle and I was like, oh, see, that's what I'm saying. You cannot follow Corbin. <laughs> no, Boo, Boo, literally every time I bring it up, Boo is like, oh, I can definitely, I can out drink Corbin. No, no, he cannot. Maybe right now, I really have not been drinking for the last like i feel like it's not even about that i feel like it's about something else there's something in your oh it's about it's about drive you got the same liver that my wife has corbin is you got you got a a, a premium liver i got one of those dirty like get it at gamestop trade in like used livers i always say it listen i always say it white women are horrifyingly like they they can just out drink anyone it's fucking crazy why women are just scary in general whenever my I wife know. drinks i hear you know the tf2 when they're doing the halloween event you hear that <laughs> <laughs> that's the sound i hear if my wife is drinking i, I can dun, be anywhere and just know all right how about i polish off uh a bottle of whiskey live right no, now no no you know you don't need to do that everybody's leaving after <laughs> <laughs> You just be, David, you can't stop me. You just be drunk alone. I'm never alone. Oh, thank thank you, Christ. What was oh. that a dodgeball? <laughs> <laughs> no. 
No, I got one of those though. One sec. I thought someone just got beamed with a dodgeball. No, that was me opening the uh, bottle of arsenic. Oh. If we ever go, if we ever go to like another, I mean, we are going to another thing. I want to oh, go shit. do some like. I hear it. <laughs> I hear that rubber. I want to go do some uh, dodge adult dodgeball. You oh, know? I would I fuck do it a up. Rage that room. would be so fun. I want to do a rage room and record it for the podcast channel at some point. A I rage, think be what is a rage room? It's where they set up a bunch of breakable shit and you go in and you just rage. Yeah. What? That's a thing? You get the, you yeah. get the Tommy Wiseau a room, basically. Oh, my God. I think my submission for a drink would just be an A-bomb. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I would... Yeah, no, just a regular A-bomb. Just blend it up. <laughs> Put in a shot. It's like an Irish car bomb, but a little more potent. I just imagine you putting a little bit of every alcohol you own into it, just a tiny bit at a time, and it reminds me of the jungle juice bottle. I've done that before. Uh, all my roommates were just sitting in the living room, and I was like, all right, we've got like multiple different types of alcohol, so I've decided we're playing a game tonight where we got to drink them all. Uh, and so we did one shot of all of like the hard liquor we had, and then the last one was a mystery shot, which they found out what the mystery shot was before I even handed it to them. It was a mix of everything. It was I, a fun night. I used to have, uh, my friend Nick used to have this bottle and and we would go over there and party and he would have this crystal decantor and we called it like the vial. We called it the elixir. We called it jungle juice. Every bottle of alcohol he got, he would save one single sip and then dump it in there. <sighs> so it you know, was always oh. full too. It was always full. And it was like, are you drinking from the elixir? Yes or no? Did I? God. That reminded There's me. There's no did, way did, that that must have gone rotten, dude. It was disgusting. Yeah. Did Did I ever tell y'all about the time I blacked out at a biker rally? A biker a rally? rally? Yeah. No. I I cannot believe I haven't told that story in the podcast. My my Brendan, my friend had the same exact thing. It was a it was a giant plastic flask that was like the size of a average man's torso. Was it only hard liquor or was it all alcohol? It was um. Just whiskeys. Oh, okay. And it was a mix of just like whatever. If they ever had a little bit left in a bottle, they'd put it in there. And um, we went to a biker rally in Galveston and it was open container, which it's usually not in Galveston, but just for the biker rally, they're like, fuck it, you can carry around drinks. Uh, but I was under 21, so I couldn't buy drinks there. So I just had to bring my own. So I just brought this giant ass flask and, uh, which also, he forgot he had it. He just found it in his room. He's like, oh shit, I forgot about this. This was like two years ago. We just kept putting alcohol in here. And I just started drinking it and blacked out super hard. Um, at one point, I went to a bubblegum shrimp. It was just pelting uh, people. Oh, it's always... <laughs> Dude, people always get sick at bubblegum. I don't... Oh, I did not go inside the bubblegum. I oh, was okay. outside of the bubblegum with a bunch of tennis balls uh, pelting people <laughs> on the balcony. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. He's yelling, Jenna, is that you? What? <laughs> Jenna! Jenna, is that you? Whap! I, I don't know how I got the tennis balls, but I, I, I can probably find a video and I can send it to y'all later uh, of me just incredibly drunk on a beach just pelting people with tennis balls. Oh my god. And then I fell asleep on a, a jetty. A, a jetty? Like a jet ski? No, it's like a what? section of rock that goes out into the ocean. Oh. And then I woke up in someone else's bed. Like, awesome. Alone? Yeah, no, covered in sand. The, 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 <laughs> like, I woke up and thought I was on the beach. And then I was like, what the fuck? And I was in a bed. And I there was like, I don't know, eight other guys in that room. I had no idea where I was. It was Did you know any of them? <laughs> no. All you I knew mean, that in your mind you were hearing, run, Corbin, run. <laughs> Apparently that's what happened. Apparently I walked very, very far that night. I just went on. <laughs> you an woke up and you had a beard, and then you saw the spirit of Tom Cruise leaving. It's Tom Hanks leaving you, oh. and you were like, "Tom Hanks, you're not dead." And then he's like, "Dude, don't worry about it." And then he flies away. I, I, I was in I was in a good location though. There was there's people in the other room that I knew. Um, so I made it back somehow. There was a really cool concert. I yelled at someone who was wearing shorts. He's also playing the guitar. He's really cool. Yeah, awesome. I look forward to our carnival cruise. Oh, I look forward to the sting race. <laughs> Welcome to the arena. <laughs> <laughs> can we can we get everybody to dress up like Rooster Teeth Red versus Blue? <laughs> what? What do you what do you fucking mean? <laughs> like in a I, in we the, have to start the conflict we right to, off. We gotta carry red I mean, we, paint and blue paint and then just random people on the cruise, we will just grab them, we'll slap them with a the color of paint, and we'll say you've been selected. You've been selected. <laughs> you've been selected. <laughs> 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 
You've, You've been, been selected, and then at one point, there's going to be a bunch of reds and reds and blues, and then they don't. They, they the fights will happen. Yeah, on their and own. I'll have I'll have I'll have German Sturger, the Great Horn, dude. Exactly, like exactly like when the Pokemon Go came out, and then people were like, "Are you, you blue? Team Instinct? You what what what's your team, bro? What's your team? What color team?" And then people would get into fights in the streets in Montreal. That was cool. I got a bunch of free alcohol for being blue. I never, I didn't even play the game. I just said like, oh yeah, I'm blue. They were like, we're giving shots to everybody who's uh, blue. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm blue. We love blue, man. I picked Team Instinct and it was like the worst decision of my goddamn life because Team Instinct was apparently the bullyable faction and I immediately quit Pokemon Go like two weeks after. You didn't even get free shots. Your life sucks. I know. How do we end what a this? tragedy. How do we end this? I gotta go pee. Howdy! Thanks so much for listening! This episode would not be possible without the help from our patrons, such as Alan Diver, Beer, Bupulu, Brain Soup, Caffeine Addicted Chemist, Cheese Dreams, Chris Chapman, Christian B, Dasul Burt, Dreams of Ice, Dubiology, Ducky Madness, DX Studios, Eric Scott Gillies, Ethereal, Fang Jade, Generic Phoenix, Handsome Destiny, Hater 115, It's Dugtastic, Jeff Smith, John Requires Lasagna, Leo the Geotech, Loudon Woodworth, Mr. Shirt, Random Diamonds, Ridge Schwartz, Samuel, Nothing Worth Mentioning, Shantanu Batia, Smeet Mano, Snake Asylum, Spherical Nathan, Teague, the Frost Ace, The Snag Salatl, Winnie Rab, Will 9455, and Winchester Curse. Thanks so much for listening, and we'll see you next time.